Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel, Paint Free Partha, and my website www.paintfreepartha.com. Today's topic is about rapid sequence final anesthesia. So, who published it? You see here, Pinsala, he was a pioneer, he did this, and it was even though it was started in 2000s, it got published only in 2010. So, category one urgent cesarean sections, rapid sequence spinal anesthesia, a case series. There was Kinsella was the pioneer. Like. Now, after that, what happened was it was a dull moment for rapid sequence spinal. Then Corona made RSSA to make a comeback. So, what they said is in 2020, RAPM, a new indication for an old anesthetic technique, could be considered now rapid sequence spinal anesthesia in a COVID 19 time. This was started in 2000 early and it became hit after 2019. So what is this rapid sequence spinal anesthesia? It's a streamlined spinal injection technique. We are streamlining the routine spinal. For what purpose? It's an emergency cesarean section. Designed to be much faster than conventional spinal. Combining elements of speed like limited numbers, no push methods. But we should be prepared any time to switch to general anesthesia if needed. If it is not meeting the right time frames, that is what is RSC. It's a streamlined spinal injection technique for emergency anesthesia. Where well, we do it faster than the conventional spinal anesthesia. That's the basic. Why we need? Modified spinal anesthesia is designed for emergency surgery, speed, simplicity, and safety. And decision and surgical incision, the time is short. Where we need emergency to abdominal surgeries is okay. Category one emergency LSA is the must. You want to be very fast, but still general anesthesia is high risk. That is where RSSC plays a role. We have limited time for full original block setup. Now we are telling that what is this one category one LSCS. We should be thorough with this. Category one means immediate threat to life for women and fetus. Category two means urgent. Category three means needing early delivery but maternal and no fetal compromise. Elective means to suit at a time, to suit the women on maternity team. Now I am telling you a primary with fetal distress. Okay. But it is not a Threat to the fetus is there, an immediate threat, it becomes category one. Sometimes primary severe PAH eclampsia, it's a maternal, immediate threat to it. But a scheduled delivery is a second gravida in previous LSEs in labor. Yes, there is needing early delivery. Elective is completely primary with breach. We can decide on time. Previous LSEs, 37 weeks crossed. Urgent is a maternal or fetal compromise is there, which is not immediately life threatening. For example, a mild obstructed labor is there. Yes, we can wait for 20, 30 minutes. Like that is what is urgent. So these are the one, two, three, and four. Preferably for these two only, we are thinking in terms of RSSC, which are kept ready minimal, but essential one ECG, NIBP, saturation. IV access is secured rapidly. I used to give some promethazine in 12.5 milligrams. Vasopressors are prepared in advance and oxygen supplementation is started early. These are the two things slightly different. I used to give vasopressors be ready and oxygen supplementation I used to give early one. Procedure is single shot apsepsis, rapid skin preparation done by the staff nurse. By the time we go, the theater is ready in the left lateral position or supine or sitting position and the staff has already taped and found out the space and given the local or something like that. But sitting position may be preferred, but I prefer lateral because many times the head is down. It is very difficult for the mother to sit. So whenever the baby is down, never put sitting position. That is my idea. Put lateral because the mother is totally and uncomfortable with the head down and sitting position. 
A midline approach is commonly used. Minimal pyrimidine is okay in selected cases. Yes. The most important thing is rapid sequence spinal anesthesia is done usually by a senior specialist. One attempt principle. Avoid re repeated attempts. Don't touch the patient preferably. Already known we painted everything. No. Hyperbaric local anesthetic. I will prefer 23 gauge without local or local based on because this slow thing and all should not come and injection should be fast. So yes, we are more worried about the baby and the mother rather than the so-called PDPH. So prefer use 23 gauge where the failure rate is very less. Reduced drug dose compared to conventional thymol with fentanyl. But I am for an increased dose because action should be good and it should be tilted. I go for if, if I think it is 2.2 is enough, I give 2.4. If I think 1.8 is enough, normally I give 2 in rapid sequence spinal analysis here. But immediately put the patient so fine. Now you see already the patient is painted, positioned, everything. Yeah. Now you see, I am inside. Now the fluid is coming. Now I am injecting the drug. So patient is already in position. Look painted, local given. I am just going to mind to ML of spinal local anesthetic. Just it took 24 seconds for me to do the procedure. So what are the deficiencies? Sometimes the action may be slightly patchy and inadequate block and sometimes conversion with GA. There is no time for titration. Okay, wait, sir. I will give head down. I will give some point and let the block come up. No, it is not possible. So it needs a skilled, experienced anesthetist. And it is not fitted for coagulopathy as is a routine spiral. Now, there are a lot of articles in this. Now we can see 2023, category one, is it fast? What they have told is around 40 to 50 seconds is the preparation time and application time is time to start surgery is around three minutes. So this is what is the advantage of this. Rapid sequence spinal anesthesia for the most urgent cesarean section, T20 to start surgery, that is what many times. So I will check and if the T10 is there, then the surgery is allowed. If T10 is not there, we may need to give GA. If T10 is there, proceed the surgery. And then if there is any sedation needed or if there is any tube needed later, we can put, let the baby be delivered. Rapid sequence spinal anesthesia versus general anesthesia. There are a lot of articles. They have found the anesthesia time is high. The surgical readiness is high. Time is more. The emergence time is very high in general anesthesia. But in the the APGAR score are similar. So it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of time to come out of anesthesia also. These are all the problems of rapid sequence GA versus rapid sequence spiral. Unfortunately, there are not much studies comparing conventional spinal and rapid sequence spinal. Now I am again telling the procedure, be prepared to convert to GA and keep the mother informed. Deploy other start for intravenous cannulation and monitoring. I used to give promethazine. No, sometimes if you give promethazine, a slight sedation is possible for the mother. And also we can check whether the line is fluent simply superbly going. That is very important. A known touch technique, gloves only with glove packet as a serine surface for equipment. Prepare skin with alcohol, povidone, or whatever it is. And consider increased dose. Add fentanyl. Local infiltration not modified. One attempt or maximum two attempts. Start surgery at T10 level. Rapid sequence spinal anesthesia for emergency improves maternal safety by reducing airways. Superior post op analgesia maintains decision to deliver. So, anesthesia time is faster, surgery incision time is faster. Delivery time may be according to the surgeon only. So, it is a structured decision tree. We may need to communicate with the staff. We may need to communicate with the theater staff. All these things. Rapid sequence spinal anesthesia with 11 milligrams and 12.5 milligrams. There is too much difference. There is some change, but it is not statistically significant. 
a survey of practice of rapid sequence induction for cesarean section. Spinal anesthesia for cesarean delivery is feasible and well accepted. It improves post-operative outcomes and there is no airway risk. Structured decision tree where a timely delivery is needed. Rapid sequence obstetric sinal anesthesia. Yes, the staff may not have painted well. That's one problem because there is an urgency. So potential compromise of aseptic precautions. If you do this, if for any case you do RSSA, and junior trained training anesthetist will never give GA for a cesarean section, then exposure to general anesthesia will become almost zero. Now it is what is simply. It's it's a similar obstetric spinal anesthesia. It's a trying critical concept. It was started in 2000, but COVID promoted. We need, because of the emergency, where the airway is a problem. We have only a few times. Procedure is painted, local given by staff nurses in position. I will prepare lateral, prefer lateral. Then no local anesthesia, give just within a few seconds. And T10 level, if it is established, Allow the surgery. If it is T2 is not allowed, then put B ready for switching over to G. There are a lot of evidences which makes this as a feasible thing. We have done a study, it will be published soon. Thank you very much. My website, YouTube, Paint Free Partha, and my slides are in paintfreepartha.com.